You're ready to jet away on a great summer vacation? Don't lose your identity while you're away in paradise. Technology makes it easier than ever for a light-fingered ID thief. We're going to give you some tips so you're not a victim. Prepare for your summer vacation. Don't forget the sunscreen, of course, and to protect your identity. We need to do more than watch our wallets and passports. Think of all the devices and social media accounts you interact with, even when on vacation. So, what are the top three things to do? Password protect your devices. Change privacy settings to not use location-based services. Subscribe to an identity theft protection service with comprehensive restoration. For more on this now, Morgan Wright, cybersecurity analyst, senior fellow at the Center for Digital Government. You know, it's really interesting because I don't think people think to pack their identity right. with them when they put the sunscreen in, right? Look, they're out getting sunburned on the beach, and if they're not protecting their identity, they're getting digital sunburn. That's the type of sunburn that's tough to get rid of because they just haven't taken a few simple steps to protect their identity and, more importantly, the identity of their children while they're on vacation. All right, so the top of your don'ts, number one, don't post pictures on social media that tell everyone you're on vacation. No, 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 no. Not only is that that's just a faux pas because you're advertising to the criminals, but the other thing, too, is you start providing information that people can use to target you while you're away on vacation. Look, it doesn't happen to everybody, but when it happens to you and you're the one it happens to because you fall victim for a scam, because they know where you're at, that's, the, you know, then, then you become a victim many, many times over, even before right. you get home. So don't broadcast to the world where you're at. Okay. Also, don't access any password-protected sites, shop online, or check banking accounts from public computers. Absolutely not. Uh, you know, when I was doing research for this, I pulled a lot of information from Symantec's 2015 Internet Security Threat Report. The, Gretchen, just the number of threats are proliferating so much, about a million new threats are introduced every single day. The one thing you can do to minimize against those is to just stay off public terminals. If you're going to be on there, surf the news, you know, right. go to Fox News, you know, look at stuff, but do not access your banking, e-commerce, anything that has your identity or credit card information attached to it. Okay. And you also recommend that you should not use ATMs in unknown locations because there are card skimmers and things like that. So bring all your cash Absolutely. in advance. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of breaking news today, Morgan, but thank you so much for giving us those tips and we'll, bet, we'll pack them with us when we go away. Thanks, okay. Sir. Thanks a lot. I've heard of throwing coins.